Nothing like a beautiful choir and harmony. We're listening to the Flynn Flon Community Choir. This is actually from uh, Crystal Colt, who was on Radio Noon on CBC yesterday. Uh, she's the director of the Flynn Flon Community Choir. This is from her YouTube page. And it's, uh, it's an older performance, but I just love it. Uh, it just feels like the sounds of the season as we uh, creep toward December. And in fact, it is a piece that was put together uh, for uh, Christmas time. But the Flynn Flon Community Choir was part of a performance uh, yesterday, which was also very significant. The Flynn Fawn Choir was at Carnegie Hall yesterday, and they were there for the world premiere of Twilight Mass. They were there also with another Manitoban, celebrated singer-songwriter from Opasquiat Cree Nation, Rhonda Head, who sang with the choir, and uh, also she had some special guests in the audience watching this premiere. Rhonda joins us now from New York to tell us how last night went. Good morning. Good morning. So I'll ask you about the special young people that you brought with you in a moment. But how was the show last okay. night? How did it go? Oh, the the show was so amazing, and and uh, it's so wonderful to to sing with choirs from around the world. And uh, in total, there was fifteen choirs, and and uh, the orchestra and the maestro and, and be like all the people filling the seats and just being in Carnegie Hall is such a beautiful venue and it's really true like um when performing in there it's one of the best venues to perform in the world the acoustics are amazing um tell me who you brought with you to be in the audience and to be a uh, part of this there were three young people with you Okay, I, I got approached by by Noel Brenier from Hermanos to do a fundraiser to bring some some youth to New York City and to to inspire them and to encourage them in their musical journey and and uh, we brought we brought in um, Avery Peltier, Ava Mikans, and Georgiana Blacksmith. How old were they? Uh, the kids. They range from 10 to 12 years old. Yeah, and they're all young Indigenous people as well, I'll just mention. But you actually, yes. I love what you did, Rhonda, because you actually want to make sure they'd appreciate the performance. Did you have them do a little, uh, an audition? I did. I, I When I put the call out on Facebook, I, I got them to, to audition for me because I wanted them, I wanted to make sure that they were really interested in, in uh, singing and, you know, um, coming to Carnegie Hall is all about music and singing. And, and I wanted them to uh, see if they're really, if they were really, um, uh, you know, into singing. And, and I, I wanted to hear their voices as well. And they and they auditioned for me. And, you know, they already, they're already singing beautifully. And, and uh, they're part of a youth choir already, too, in, in Winnipeg. So I'm really proud of all of them. And, and I was so excited for them to be here and it's just a, like a life-changing experience for them. Um, you posted some amazing photos uh, of the uh, of the young people who were not making get up early this morning <laughs> but you posted photos <laughs> photos of them and of the evening and what was your favorite moment uh, from your perspective on stage last night at Carnegie Hall? Uh, one of my favorite moments was um, we sang the eighth, eighth uh, movement and and uh, it made me cry like the 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 sound of the choir and and all singing in harmony and and uh, the orchestra playing it's just like there's a, an amazing energy on stage and it just brought tears to my eyes it was so amazing what's it like for you as a solo singer you know usually doing your own solos uh, to perform with a choir like that for me for myself um i Oh, it's, like I said, the energy is so amazing, and and when I'm singing solo, I don't have that that uh, energy from the other choir and 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 an orchestra on on top of that, and and a maestro leading us. It's it's such a really incredible feeling, and you just feel that energy, and and you know it feels like it's going up to to heaven. It's just a really incredible experience. What about the music? Can you tell us a touch more about Twilight Mass, this premiere of this special music? Um, the music is all in Latin, and there's nine movements to the to the nine pieces to the to the or uh, the piece, and it, uh, we got to meet the the composer Ola, and and uh, it was such a pleasure to to perform 
this piece for him at like a world premiere it was it was so very amazing and the music is so beautiful what did the uh what did the kids think what did the young people think of everything last night uh well when when i told them to meet me outside carnegie hall when we were done and and because i wanted to take pictures with them and they all just screamed and and clapped and they all hugged me so they were all like really excited and and uh, you know, I hope uh, they they have lasting memories, and I hope they can all continue on in their musical journey. Uh, anything to add that I haven't asked about? I uh, went an incredible experience all of you had. I don't want to miss something that you might have thought. Oh, I should share this with home when I talk to them tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, um, I I got to speak with the maestro, uh, Dr. Jonathan Griffith, and he invited us back next year, and he wants me to bring more Indigenous youth, and uh, we're going to be talking about you know, possibly getting them involved in a, in a youth choir so they'll be able to perform on on the stage next year. So it's like really exciting. And, and, and then one of my friends, Kenny, who's a five, um, he, he's a Red Seal chef that works at the St. Regis. He, he, one of his friends, uh, he is a baritone that's actually playing and uh, performing at the Met, his name is Quinn Kelsey and he's from Hawaii. So he, he came to, to uh, meet the choir last night, and and uh, so that was really ex one of the one of the other highlights. So we got to meet a an opera star. What a fantastic night for so many Manitobans, right? It's amazing. Oh, it was really fantastic. It was such an exciting trip, and yeah, it's down for the books for sure. <laughs> Rhonda, thank you very much after your big day and, and evening for uh, being with us this morning uh, on CBC to tell everybody here at home a little bit about the experience. Really appreciate having you with us. Yes, thank you for reaching out. All the best. Thank you. So Rhonda Head, Cree singer, songwriter, a celebrated artist, and uh, she is, uh, we reached her this morning in New York, where she still is after a performance last night. She was there with the Flin Flon Choir at the world premiere of Twilight Mass at Carnegie Hall, and uh, three young people along with her for the trip. By the way, she was mentioning uh, the uh, choir and the international ensemble uh, performing the new composition. Uh, the piece is the creation of a Norwegian, Norwegian composer uh, who is a world-renowned name in the realm of choral music. Uh, Here's a bit more music. Thank you for watching the CBC Manitoba YouTube channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. For the latest breaking news and top stories, download the CBC News app.